Hi, it's time for another math easy solution. Trying to discuss a uh, quick video on tr on the trigonometry identity and look at this one, which is pretty basic. Uh, tan of negative x equals to negative tan of x right here. And the proof of this is actually pretty straightforward. Before we get to that, let's just write down what we know. Yeah, and what we know is that basically tan of x is equal to, by definition, uh, we have uh, sine of x and then obviously divided by cos of x. So this is by definition, you can see more on this in the video link below on trigonometry. And this is also the same as we know that sine is basically opposite over hypotenuse. And then this one is adjacent verse over hypotenuse. As you see, the h is canceled, so we're just left with uh, opposite over uh, adjacent. So this is basically, these are the definition of tan of x. Yeah, so now if we were to look at a graph of this, yes, if we just uh, draw a quick graph, here's y and x-axis. So in this case, we'll change the variable to a theta or an angle. So basically, if we have something, let's say like this, a triangle like that. Yeah, and then basically, yeah, if we have a triangle like this, is a right angle. So now we'll say this, this angle is called theta. So now we have OP right here. This is the opposite. This is obviously our hypotenuse. And this is our adjacent right here. So we know again that tan of x, or in this case, we have basically tan theta is basically equal to opposite over adjacent. So just write that down, OP over uh, adjacent. So, But now if we have a negative angle, but that's exactly the same, so we'll just draw this going down like this. So yeah, just as, pretend this is a straight line, it's close enough. But anyway, so we have this part, this is the exact same now, except we have a hypotenuse here. And it's the same length as this one because it's the same same angle but we'll just put this like this and we'll call this negative theta right here and now uh, this ang this uh, right side or the opposite is going to be negative because remember we positive is upwards and right is uh, x right here is positive so now we have an op negative uh, opposite right here so if we write the tan of this one so tan of negative theta this is basically equals to negative, op yeah, basically th this opposite divided by adjacent. Adjacent is positive uh, for both. And then this can be negative opposite uh, side divided by A. Or this equals to, because we know OP is this one. Uh, yeah, we have opposite over adjacent is just tan theta. So we can take the negative out, we'll have negative tan theta. So there, there is our trig identity right here. Yeah, so that is one way to prove it. Another way to prove it is you could even look at basically uh, sine, yeah, actually sine, let's go into sine negative x divided by cosine negative x right here. We, uh, once again, this is uh, tan of negative x. But like I showed in my earlier video, sine, this is an, this is an odd function. So this one right here, because it's negative, uh, it's basically this identity right here, this is considered an odd function because uh, everything, when you put a negative x, this can be negative of this tan of x right there. So this is an odd, this one's an even, and like I showed in my earlier video, cos of x is equal to cos of negative x. So it doesn't matter what side, it's gonna be the same thing. So then you could just be like, this is gonna be negative sine of x, and then this is cos of x right here. Because this is even, that's odd, and you can see proof of this in the video link below. So then this just equals to negative tan of x uh, right here. Yeah, so here if you graph all these uh, sine x, cos x, and tan x functions in Google Graphing Calculator, as you can see from this one, the the uh, blue is the is basically sine of x. As you can see here when you move uh, x right here or compared to negative x, uh, let's say somewhere over here, from we yeah, have basically negative x right here. It's be the exact same thing except there is a negative of this one. Yeah, so this is what it means by an odd function. Basically, uh, the right side of the y-axis is be the exact same as the left side, but flipped downward, so it's gonna be negative. So this is positive, negative. And then, so this one is an odd one, this cos of x, which is the red. As you can see right here, it doesn't matter if you go right or left of it, it's gonna be the exact same value. So this is an even function. The right side and the left side of the y-axis are the exact same. And then tan of x is, is similar to sine of x, they're both odd functions. It's basically the exact same curve like this, but as it going to the right, and then it's gonna be the same thing on the left side, except flip downwards or just negative of it. And it, this happens everywhere, the same thing. So anyways, that is all for today. Hopefully you'll learn from this video. 
And like always, you can download these exact notes in the links uh, below. And thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution.